Well, good day to you. Uh, Faith Pocatello Daily here, July 6, 2022. Still looking at this idea of freedom. Romans 8, verses 20 through 22. For creation was subjected to futility, not willing, but because of him who subjected it in hope that creation itself will be set free from the bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. You see, uh, the curse of sin was is upon the earth, and and the the even creation is like this is not how it's supposed to be. If you look at the when after the curses that God put on Adam and Eve uh, after they they sinned and and took the forbidden fruit, one of it was that we'd have uh, trials and tribulations in this life, and this and this creation would now be broken and marred. It would no longer be perfect and in harmony with one another. And so creation it re- rejoices when people receive the forgiveness of sins because that's one step closer to freedom and the restoration of what God has in store for us. Now we know that creation groans to that the children of God would be revealed um, because through us, because of the work of God in us, we restore things to its proper place. Um, And again, we know that ultimately when Jesus returns, uh, he's going to establish his rule and reign and he's going to give us a new heaven and a new earth. And the new earth will be perfect once again with no more sin. But until then, we live in that freedom and we see that even creation longs for our freedom to be expressed. And so um, I just want to encourage you to be free in Christ today. So may God richly bless your day. Enjoy Jesus. Go and share the freedom that you have in life.